So what is the secret behind every successful product and service? What do they all have in common? Without further ado, let's take a look at what are design thinking and human-centered approaches to service delivery. Design thinking is a problem-solving process that integrates the needs of people, service feasibility and organizational success. It is not only used in businesses, but also in social contexts. When designing a service, we should always ask, can we do this? Is it feasible? Can anyone in the organization bring this to life? Or do we have that amount of investment to make this happen? This is where the second point comes in. You might want to ask the organization, does it fit into our organization's strategy? What outcomes do we prioritize? But the most important question is, is it desirable? Do people want or need this? Does it solve a problem in someone's life? The secret to success lies in solutions that sit in this sweet spot. It is paramount to consider the capability of the organization, the strategy of the business, and the impact on users. Let us look at an example of how two products that both appear to successfully meet their purpose, but one of them did not involve the user in their design process. Here you can see that technically, both chairs serve their function. You can sit on them. But which do you think is more comfortable to sit on? The one on the left, inspired by one of the greatest artists of the 20th century? Or the one on the right? This example demonstrates how good and desirable design is not just about how it looks, how much it cost, or who designed it. What is good all boils down to the person using it. So, how do we define human-centered design? Human-centered design is really about solving real problems that exist in people's lives, building services that are tailored to their needs. Let's look at how we get to the real problems and make sure that our solutions are effective for real people. At FutureGov, we use the Double Diamond Model, a model developed by the British Design Council. It is a design process that goes through diverging and converging stages. During the diverging phase, you go wide, looking at the entire context and issues, collecting as many insights as possible. Then narrowing down, making sense of all the information you have collected, defining and prioritizing the opportunity areas. Then opening up again, generating as many ideas as possible for potential solutions to build. Before you narrow down again, testing and iterating prototypes and delivering solutions. The truth is, in reality, it is not a linear process. You probably feel the same in your role. More often than not, you are jumping between phases of understanding the needs, defining the problem and coming up with solutions. In our next video, you will hear about why it is equally important to adopt a human-centered design mindset.